Good morning, beautiful people. Hope y'all doing well. Hey, let's check this out. Oh my God, Netflix. This is going to be part A. Fanny Willis. Really? Then please, if you will, stick around for part B, the commentary. On be believable. Here we go. Information tonight in the explosive allegations against Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis and her controversial relationship with Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade. Good evening, and thanks so much for joining us tonight for Fox 5 News at 6. Wow. I'm Tom Haynes, in for Russ Spencer. I'm Courtney Bryant. Wade's estranged wife is providing bank records she claims show that the two attorneys vacationed together multiple times during the Trump investigation. Let's get out to Fox 5 with Brittany Edney, who's live at the Fulton County Courthouse tonight. Brittany, what have you learned about the claims. Attorneys for Wade's estranged wife have put the receipts into evidence in the couple's divorce case. They claim that they have receipts of credit card purchases that prove that he bought plane tickets not only for himself, but also Willis to go to San Francisco and other vacations as well. Now, we've acquired the employment contracts between Willis's office and the special prosecutors within that case, which show a very interesting pay discrepancy. On Sunday, Fulton County District Attorney Fawny Willis defended her appointment of Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade for her election interference case against former President Donald Trump. I appointed three special counsel as is my right to do. Paid them all the same hourly rate. They only attacked one. The newly obtained employment contracts between Willis's office and the three special counsels shows that statement is inaccurate. Wade's agreement shows he made $250 for two contracts. One ended in May of 2023, the other in December of 2023. While Anna Cross's contract through June of 2023 shows the same rate, John Floyd's compensation in both agreements is much lower. He made $150 per hour for his first contract and $200 for his second. And Floyd is a renowned expert in RICO cases. One former prosecutor says it's hard to compare compensation due to the opportunity of being involved in this historical case. I am sure Mr. Floyd wants to get involved in this case, as a lot of attorneys would. So it's hard to look at the paid differentials when you're looking at the magnitude of the case involved. Another well-known former prosecutor questions Wade's selection in general. You compare him to both. Uh, Floyd and Anna Cross, who is a brilliant prosecutor. Um, he doesn't seem qualified to lead this case, but, you know, even that, there's nothing insidious about it. But Porter adds, as long as there were no kickbacks to Willis, these actions are more uncouth, not criminal. The whole rumor and, and innuendo and everything else, it may substantiate it, but it doesn't make any difference in, as far as the case goes, the Trump case. D.A. Willis filed a motion in Cobb County Thursday to block a deposition in the couple's divorce case. She contends that Jocelyn Wade has conspired with others in the Fulton County election interference case to, quote, invest, embarrass, annoy, and oppress her. Now, mm. the judge in that case has scheduled a hearing for those allegations of an inappropriate relationship between both Willis and Wade, and that is set for February 15th. Okay, everybody, you saw part a stick around for part b the commentary let's talk about it people wow